Hello, Grandma. Hi. Oh, I'm going home now. Uh, and I need a, no. Okay. Oh. Uh, I get my list. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay. Wednesday. Uh -oh. I had to send out a new link without all the crazy questions. Oh, okay. So hopefully can it was. Can you hear me? Can you? Oh. Hear? Okay. I oh. never know when I'm muted or what. It's all good. We can hear you. Uh -oh. Hello, Miss Velma. Hi, Lori. We're just uh, Hi. giving it away. Ha, Hyundai on day. Ha, Hyundai on day. And boom. Um, I'm still uh, trying to get over this cold. Oh, my cold goodness. <laughs> Gosh. Um, at least I can like talk a little better this week. Last week I was miserable. <laughs> hey, Grandma Martha. Hi. Hello, Miss Mabel. Hello. Hyundai on the and bump. Yeah. 
Action Network is back to the Doctor and Fish Bill 116. What do monk and bone have in common? Because no quantitative methods are valuable. Two friend solvers together on Cozy TV. We have this channel 253. <laughs> So we'll pick one of the little ones that comes to the color out and get it to look here and I can hear. Okay, let's see here. Making sure that everyone has the uh, the right link. Uh, <clears throat> All right, cool. All right, let's see here. So looks like we have um, many of our uh, mentors, our elder mentors on with us. So that's awesome. And um, we are just seeing who else is going to be joining. We can get started in just a minute. Hey, Kathy. I'm Voyomda. Sorry, I'm oh. just uh, trying to get, uh, got to get a paper done. I got to get supper done. No, <laughs> I hear you. It's that time of day. I'm saying, yeah, I'll be right here uh, off and on just for awesome. a minute. You know, probably within uh, supper, probably about 30 minutes. Okay, cool. And, Aunt Bama on. Hi, Aunt Bama. Love you. Uh -huh. Aunt Bama. Uh-huh. All right. Let me pull up our um, syllabus and our agenda for today. And then I can um, look at, let's see here. Going to the right place in the Google Drive. No, wrong one. Okay, that's the one I want. All right, so let me pull this uh, down so we can take a look at it together. <clears throat> All right, let me know when you can see my screen. I can see it. All right, awesome. So um, this evening for our um, Learn Kiowa sessions here on Wednesday evenings. Um, <clears throat> oh, there's my birthday. So we do our welcome and then have our opening prayer. We go over our agenda and then we have a focus session on specific uh, language topic for the evening. And then we get some feedback from our mentors, from our elders here. Um, <clears throat> we have a question and answer session. So if you have any questions for our elders, um, have those ready. Um, and then we're gonna have a Kiowa pedagogy discussion. So 
Um, part of this time is really to help um, support any uh, Kiowa language uh, credentialed uh, teachers and any teachers who want to teach Kiowa in um, classrooms or in the community um, to really think about the ways that we can teach Kiowa, but also think about the ways that we learn our language and our culture. And so we're going to take time each uh, week to hear um, some reflections from our um, mentors. <clears throat> all right, and then we're gonna have some open practice time. So we'll always set aside time um, towards the end of our uh, time together. And we're gonna use Zoom breakout rooms um, so that everyone can get a chance to practice um, on the topic that they're interested in. Um, on some weeks, our um, Kiowa Language uh, Credentialing Board will be available to do um, credentialing um, for anyone who is uh, going through the uh, teacher credentialing process. Um, and I don't see uh, Dane on here yet. And he usually runs the breakout room to do the credentialing. So we'll see if he is going to be joining today. Okay. Can you talk through breakout here? <clears throat> What's it? Hi, Hi, Grandma. Okay, they can hear you. Hello, I've been calling you. <laughs> hey, yeah, it's been busy. Crazy, crazy busy. Yeah, I sure have your cold. Still, I, still getting better, still trying to. Oh, gosh, it's me. I do, I get my voice back. <laughs> I think they tried to kill all of us in this whole world with it. That stuff never goes away. Jeez, I know it feels like it. <laughs> it's been two weeks, the second week. I know it. It's Kobe. They get Kobe. Well, and it doesn't help that it's like freezing outside. It's literally below freezing. So I'm like, oh man. I know it. <laughs> but um, Grandma Dorothy, Hande, Hande, um, and Bonk. <clears throat> Hiya, um, hiya, hi condo. <laughs> that means <laughs> when you've done so many things all day and they were a, a condo, I'm kind of semi-tired. <laughs> <laughs> it feels like that. I've been thinking about ridiculous old words and putting them down. And... Can you say that one more time? I'll try to put it in the chat. A condo. It means I'm tired. You know, when you've been doing one thing after the other. Oh. Like A-H and then K-A-U-N. A con do. D-A-U. That means you're tired in another way of talk talking Kiowa. <laughs> it's Kiowa, though. Did y'all know that I joined another group, I think? The, I don't know who they are, but it's a tap toe. Somebody, really? else, somebody else names are on there. It's a study group or something. Who's teaching that? On your high go. It kept kicking me out and finally they accepted me. I don't know. <laughs> well, that's good. Uh, your name's on it. <laughs> so, but, but yeah, but there's all kind of names. Uh, it's wow. uh, over 150. Wow. Well, that's cool. I haven't heard about it, so that's uh, that'll be exciting. Uh, see, I hear. didn't either, but my name was on it. I think they're just putting them. I don't know how they're doing that. <laughs> so you might check it out. Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh, man. Um, who who's the lead lead for that, Grandma? Her name is Tapto. Tapto. Okay. Let's see what I can find. Just poking around. Yeah, they must, everybody's names on there, even my girls. Wow. And they That's don't exciting. join. I mean, they do not join anything loosely. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. So we all got to sign up for something. Y'all all check it out or something. 
I didn't oh. see no lessons on it. Huh. But it had learned how to talk. Learn how to talk Kiowa. And I got curious. Oh, wow. Well, that's cool. That's always exciting. Um, so here we are in session two. So tonight, um, for our focus session, our topic, we want to learn uh, Kiowa help phrases. <clears throat> and then for our Kiowa pedagogy discussion, um, I thought we kind of start at like the youngest age and kind of work our way up to the older learners. Um, and that's kind of where we could start, but um, this discussion time is kind of open to everyone. So, um, you know, we can focus on this or if people have other ideas for certain um, aspects of pedagogy, um, you know, then you can mention that we can discuss that as well. And then in our breakout room time, um, if uh, the credentialing board, if uh, Dane joins, um, we'll have an evaluation room. I don't see Dane yet. I know he said he was probably going to do like alternating weeks. So he may not join tonight, so we'll see. Um, we're gonna have a breakout room to practice the help phrases that we're gonna learn today. And then we're gonna have a Kiowa sounds and pronunciation practice like we had last week. Because last week that was our topic on the sounds and pronunciation. And then in the main room, which is this room, uh, where most of our elders um, kind of stay in the main room, um, we'll be continuing our discussion on Kiowa prayer phrases. And we're going to be continuing to look at uh, the Kiowa prayer, Don uh, Bayi Day, um, by Parker McKenzie. Um, and we're going to continue to practice pronouncing and also. Um, translating the um, individual words. So that's our plan for this evening. Um, so let me stop sharing a second. All right, uh, so looks like I'll just go over who I see here. Um, so for our, for our elders, uh, we have Grandma Dorothy, we have Grandma D, and then we have um, Grandma Martha now, and then we have Miss Velma, Miss Abel, and Miss Brenda. And then for our learners, um, we have Kathy um, and, oh, and hey, there's Dane. Yeah, all right. Um, and then we have Kathy, Lori, um, Rachel, uh, Terry, and then uh, I guess Dane and Cricket. Oh, there's, okay, Cricket and Dane, all right, Ha. And then um, Grandma D, is Aunt Carolyn with you? No, she isn't. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Um, so uh, let me uh, share my screen again really quick for those that just joined us. <clears throat> so for tonight, this is our um, plan. Um, we want to learn and practice our Kiowa help phrases. And then we want to talk starting with the younger age group, but of course this is kind of open um, time to discuss Kiowa teaching and learning. Um, so if you have other topics that you wanna bring up during this time, you can do that. Um, and then for our breakout rooms, um, Dane, um, will you be uh, doing evaluations if people are interested tonight? Aww. Awesome. All right, so we'll have that evaluation room and then help phrases. Uh, sounds and pronunciation, and then we'll continue our Kiowa prayer um, with uh, Dombeyi Day prayer. Um, so that's our plan. And ah, uh, cool. Let me stop sharing. Now I can see you better. <laughs> um, yeah, you can't hear me better, but at least you can see me. <laughs> My voice is still still messed up. Um, Okay, let's see, um, Miss Velma, um, are you able to, uh, can you, Bay Dot, say? Um, they on there. Don't, dog, e, dog, I, you take a dog, e, oh, my dog, e, correct, dog, e, they on there, him dog, a dog, go, 
Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you for thy grace, thy mercy, thy unconditional love, and um, uh, the healing power that you have, and the, the, your faithfulness, your forgiveness. We're so grateful for everything. We have so much to be thankful for, and we're so we are so um, grateful that you have blessed us in so many ways. And we're day on day. We're we're still working on our Kiowa language, and we're so thankful that you blessed us with our language, our our tradition, traditions and culture, our songs, our dances, our prayers. Day day on day, get on da. Get um no a ho ta day on day day on day yan um da go day on day yan hai get da da ke na ten don ge yan hai get da go pe ge da da ka on day an im ka on day an im town da ho ta ho da bo da ke ge ma oi be ta ge ma oi be ne am pe do ta ge te te ho te ko be ta do de ko e ke akun ba be ta do de ta ge te I told ye to obey the Tano. They own it or tied or the Amtong, you get off, that you would never leave us, that you would always be with us, dog. Hey, oi, the beta, we have faith. It's all on dog, dog. We know that you're taking care of us and we humble ourselves and we we pray in our call, the Ango Town, dog, dog. Hold dog, you don't even be good, dog. So lay go, be tied or the dog. Obey go, I got a Sunday, Sunday talk, dog, yeah, dog, a whole ton. Bless each person here, dog, okay, young, I get all you know what their needs are, dog, okay. Bless the, each uh, learner here, the mentors, their families, dog, okay, you are so grateful that you have blessed us with our families. Protect them, obey, but I got a toe, you talk. We on the con, they get Sunday talk, dog. Those who are in mourning this day, be with them. Bless each 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 family member. And we're, once again, we thank you for this day. Thank you for thy blessings. Thank you for our language. And thank you that we are able to meet on this Zoom. I eat the corn, I eat the corn, Baildo. Aho, Obaha. Aho. I missed that at the end. Aho. Aho. Thank you, Miss Good prayer, oh. and eat it that. Oh. And there's, uh, we have Miss Marion also join us. Well, hello, Miss Marion from the East Coast. <laughs> awesome. Good afternoon. Ha. Oh. All right. Well, I'm excited to focus on um, really kind of digging into our help phrases. <clears throat> so let's see here. Um, I'm gonna pull up a uh, PowerPoint. <clears throat> so the Kiowa help phrases, um, the way that I see them is they're a really a really good tool. So for those of you who are gonna be teachers, um, the help phrases are a really good way to encourage your students to stay in Kiowa, to stay in our language instead of um, code switching or breaking into English and then going back into Kiowa. So it really helps to kind of keep everyone focused in, in specific um, focusing in our language. Um, so these help phrases are a good way to kind of um, for ourselves as a learner to ask um, questions of our elders um, so that they can also be encouraging us to kind of, so they'll answer us in Kiowa as well. 
Um, and it's also a good way to get help. So like if you don't know what someone's saying um, or you're not sure and they're saying something in Kiowa and you want them to kind of either slow down or say it again or things like that. So these help phrases um, are really, really useful. And um, you, know, you can teach them to all ages of students. Um, you know, and you just got to model how to use them. Um, <clears throat> so um, let's take a look at some help phrases. And um, so Dane um, put together the help phrases. Well, Dane and um, his um, fellow instructors on the faculty there at OU for the Kiowa language classes um, a while back. And I know that they've been using them in their OU um, classes. And so I wanted to see, uh, Dane, if there's anything that you'd like to say about the help phrases in general, and also if you have any ideas or strategies um, for using them. Okay. Um, yeah, when I first started trying to figure out what to do, I always thought, well, people, uh, people do have like list of survival phrases. And then I just had to kind of look at, well, what are the main ones? Because when they talk about survival phrases, they're talking about a lot of stuff. So uh, there's, we can make some of those, but that'll be uh, kind of down the road. Some of those are actually from the conversations. But um, as far as trying to keep people engaged in the language, I know that when my students were up here and I knew that they were getting frustrated with stuff, especially when we started doing oral activities, they would always say stuff like, can you say that again? Or I don't know. And they said in English, I was like, well, we got a Kiowa way of saying those things to get people to say it. So I decided, well, let's just see which versions of these sound right. And sometimes we switch them out. And even tonight, uh, some things we may use a better version of asking for some of these help phrases. So a lot of these are kind of trial and error. So if we find a better way to say it, I mean, of course, so we can always make those changes to say it in a better way, or sometimes it's just alternate ways to say something we can do it. So say, for instance, one of them is tell me again, but you can say say it again. So there's two ways you can, you can get somebody to repeat themselves. And it's just the, the way you say it. But in our classes, it kind of keeps them a little bit more in Kiowa and it makes them a little bit more comfortable. And in our classes, like it eventually they start calling them cheat codes a little bit because they get to stay in the language. Or oh, that's what they feel like. They feel like they're cheating because they're getting answers. But the point is they're still using Kiowa to get to the right answer in our classes. And some of our conversational stuff in the in the the conversational interview. I do try to get some of the candidates to actually use them a little bit more because it makes it a little bit easier for me to kind of help them out if they get kind of stuck on anything. Um, and usually I was less likely to want to help directly if they said, I don't know in English, because I know that a lot of people knew how to say, I don't know in, in Kiowa, then I'm then I'm really ready to help them. I said, okay, at least you're trying to stay, stay in the language. So that's kind of what happened in our classes. And I think it really helped uh, them stay, get used to staying in Kiowa a lot more. And there's probably, there's a lot of kinks and things that we got to learn about doing this and staying in Kiowa, because some of it veers off into another direction that we'll see where it goes. But otherwise, right now, I think there's only 10 of them and so that's not too many there's not too many to learn it's just using a context and now that we got all you know we got a lot of uh mentors here as they're going through them tonight you know uh, all the mentors that grew up grew up in the home speaking it can kind of give you different contexts in which you can use these phrases some of them maybe will may be more specific than others of how they would hear them or how they learned them so it's a good chance to see for all of us, even myself, to see, okay, how do you normally, you, how, how do you, how would you normally have heard this being used, so that we use it correctly. So, uh, oh, ball. Oh, oh, um, that's really helpful to hear. So, um, let's see, uh, Dane, the version that I was going to use was the one that you used for the credentialing, which was, it's in the uh, credentialing study material. Is that the most recent? Mm -hmm. Oh. All right, um, I'm gonna share my screen. I'll share the PowerPoint and I'll share the sound. Um, You're leading. Okay, so, um, and then, uh, let's see. There's some hamburger meat I need to put away. <laughs> Mama, mm -hmm. yeah. All right, so here's the PowerPoint that you can download. Um, did everyone um, who is here um, 
last week were you able to get access to the uh, Kiowa um, credentialing yeah. study material folder in the Google Drive? Okay. <clears throat> and let me stop sharing for a second um, to just show you kind of like how to find these. Um, so let me share my screen again really quick. Okay, so in the um, in Google Drive, if you go to Shared With Me, um, look for credentialing study material and click on that. And then here's what you'll see when you click on it. And this is for anyone who's interested in becoming credentialed to teach Kiowa. Um, oh, there's Courtney. And then, so the health phrases are here in this folder. And so, um, like Dane explained last week, if you just open this in Google, um, I mean, you can still see it, but you won't be able to listen to this audio here. And the important part is being able to hear how these phrases are pronounced. And so the best way to do that is to just go here to file and download and download this file as a Microsoft PowerPoint. And so that's that's what I did. And then we'll be able to play the audio um, in the PowerPoint. So let me pull the PowerPoint up. <clears throat> Okay. All right. So, uh, co help phrases. Um, so let's see. We have. Let me see which ones. Okay. So these are the help phrases in Kiowa. These are the help phrases with the English uh, free translation. Like, how do they um, translate kind of into English conversationally? And this is the literal um, translation of the help phrases, which is basically the word order um, as they're written in Kiowa. So that way, this to me, I like the literal translations because it helps me helps me understand like what the Kiowa thought process is. <clears throat> okay. Um, and then here's some other additional um, material that you can use to study. And then there's some signs here, which I would love to um, see the signs, Dane, if you're able to, but not to put you on the spot or anything. Um, so here's the help phrases. <clears throat> okay, so what I'll do is I'll play it. Um, do we want, um, let's see. I guess, so we want to learn these and then we want to make sure that people have an opportunity to practice pronouncing. Um, so here's the first one. Maybe get to play. Okay, wait, why is it not Let me go ahead and, and put in another one. I, I ran into the same problem. Uh, with another one the other day, it stopped playing the audio, and I don't know if something switched in Google that's uh, causing this. Okay. So let me see if I can put a new one in there, and maybe that will download. I didn't realize it was going to happen to all of them. Uh oh. Yeah, that's weird. I mean, because the icon is there, so I would assume the audio is there, but maybe I did. I didn't. I don't know. Maybe I didn't download it all the way. I don't know. Uh, I'll send one through. I'll send one a quick one through a uh, chat, and then, and then you can uh, get that one. And I'll I'll see if I can, if I can fix that one up. In a few okay. Minutes. Cool. Um. So um, what we've done before um, in previous sessions is we've had each of our um, elders that's with us on the line. Um, we've had them each uh, take a turn um, saying the um, the phrase in Kiowa so that we can hear them pronounce it. Um, especially since you know we have different like dialects and things. Um, is that something that um, everyone would find useful? Is that okay to do tonight? What what would you prefer? <clears throat> I got a thumbs up from Kathy. <laughs> okay, I think I think I downloaded it. Okay, let me open this. 
And let me test the sound. Okay, there it is. Hopefully that will uh, show up. Um, <clears throat> all right, let me share my screen again. And I might have to replace a lot of things in there because I, I don't know what happened, but it's doing that to a lot of them right now. So I just don't oh, know everything. So yikes, maybe it was an update in Google. That's, oh. that's crazy. All right, let's. Ah, so I'm not done, yeah. Did everyone hear that? Oh, I mean, oh. okay. Uh, All right, so this one. Um, this is um, what we would use when we want to know, um, it basically translates to how do we usually say something in Kiowa. And so it's, um, we can use it if we are wanting to get a translation of something, like if we want to know how to like, how to say cup, or if we want to know you know, um, a certain word or a certain phrase, we would ask um, this. So let's start with, um, let's see, the first mentor I see. Uh, Grandma Dorothy, you're first on my screen. So would you be able to pronounce this for us? Hatso anatongya. Hatso anatongya. Hoyan hagya. Thank you, Grandma. Uh, Grandma D, would you be able to say this talk? Hot, excuse me. Hot, so I'm not Oh, um, Miss Velma? Hot, so I'm not Oh, uh, Grandma Martha? If you're able to. Oh, and you're muted. I'm always on mute and I forget to add mute. Okay. Hot so I'm not done. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, Miss Mabel. If if you're able to. I'm sorry, Melody. I stepped away for a minute. Oh, sorry, no, it's okay. I just wanted to. Well, see I, would... I have a I have a sick granddaughter, and oh, I'm no. tending to her. So, I'm oh. I'm sorry. I I don't know what's going on. I was gone for about six minutes. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. Um, we're just having. Is it hot? So I'm thung, yeah? Is that what we're doing? Our, our the hot, first hot. So I'm thung, yeah. yeah. Um, so that okay. we can hear how everyone pronounces it. Okay. Is that it? Hot so I'm thung, yeah. Is that the one that we're on? Yeah, yeah, the first one. Okay. Okay. Hot so I'm thung, yeah. So you can see what's happening in your home. Me, Melody? Um, yeah, Miss Brenda, if, you, if you're able to. I know. You might have other Okay. Hot so on a dog, yeah. Oh, thank you. All right. So um for learners, um let's see. I'm looking to see um how much time we have. Okay. Um so let's go to the second one. And this yeah. is Oh, Miss Marion, I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, Miss Marion, let's. No, let's I thought. No, no, that's fine. I thought I was on mute. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> um, okay. Hot, hot, so on, on, don't get. Hot, so on, I don't get. Oh, oh. Hot, so. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right, so let's, so that is something that you would use when you want someone, when you want an, um, a mentor, a speaker, um, or if you just want someone to tell you, how do you say something in Kiowa? I like to use it when I'm asking for a translation of something. Um, 
Okay, let's try this next one. So I'm going to play um, this first um, audio here for the first part. And then this is the second part. So Hanya Hai Ga is um that means I don't know. I don't. And then Yatam is help me. <laughs> um so you would you would use that if you like if you know you're kind of like a deer in headlights, someone asks you something or they're talking and you're totally lost and you're like, wait a minute, I don't know what you're saying. Um, so let's go back through and have each of our uh, mentors say this whole line here, so both phrases. Um, and go ahead, Grandma D, I see you first. So go ahead and start us off. Oh, um, let's see. Grandma Dorothy. Yeah, Tom. Oh, um, so what's that? Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, but careful for Dominic, he has a ringer. I think someone needs to mute. Yeah, you have. Um, Okay. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead, girl. Honya hi go. Yeah, All right. Now, Miss Velma. Honya hi go. Yeah, Um. And now, uh, Miss Mabel, if you're able to. Honya hi go. Yeah, uh, Miss Brenda, if you're able to. Honya hi go. Yata um. And Miss Marion. Honya hi go. Yata um. All right. And so if we look over here at the translation, the free translation is I don't know. Help me. Um, and then you have the literal translation in Kaila. All right, so the next one, let's listen to this. All right, so this one is when you want um, someone to say something again, do you want them to um, repeat it? So Grandma Dorothy, let's start us off. Ain't ain't oi, Dadle. Ain't oi, Dadle. And um, Grandma D. Ain't oi, Dadle. Uh -huh. And Grandma Martha. Ain't oi, Dale. Uh -huh. Miss Velma. Ain't oi, Dadle. Uh -huh. Miss Mabel. A orange, a orange tail. Oh, and Miss Brenda. A orange tail. Oh, and uh, Miss Marion. A orange tail. Oh, a orange tail. Oh, so again, that's when you want someone to repeat something or say something again. All right, and this is this next one is one of our favorite ones that we can we can use a lot, especially in our sessions. Um, so let's hear. Hondeim Saito. This one is um, you're asking, you're telling someone, I'm going to ask you something. So it's a good way for when you want to politely ask a question. Um, and it alerts someone that, hey, you have a question about what they said and you want to ask them something. And so this is one that we, we use a lot in here. Um, okay, so let me go my list. Um, uh, Grandma Dorothy. 
Honde im Zeit. Honde im Zeit. Oh, Honde im Zeit. Honde im Zeit. Honde im Zeit. Miss Mabel. Honde im Zeit. Miss Brenda. Honde im Zeit. And Miss Marion. Honde im Zeit. Honde im Zeit. Uh -huh. Awesome. So again, that is when you want to ask someone something. Okay, the next one is another really good uh, phrase to know. And that is when you want to tell someone something. When you want to tell something. So uh, Grandma Dorothy? Honde im Teilto. Honde im Teilto. Grandma D? One more time. Honde im Teilto. Oh. One more time. Honde im Teilto. Oh. Honde im Teilto. Oh, Miss Mabel. Oh, Honda and Dale stop. Oh, uh, Miss Brenda. Honda and Dale stop. Oh, Miss Marion. Honda and Dale stop. Honda and Dale stop. Oh. Awesome. All right. So the next one is um, there's a short short version and a long version. So we'll listen to both. Come on. Hey, to. Hey, to. Okay, that's the first part. Here's the second one. Hey, to go, yo. Hey, go, yo. All right. So um, we're going to have each of our Elders say both of those for us. So, Grandma Dorothy? Heta. Heta goo. Heta deka goo. It's kind of like a slang. Heta. Heta goo. Oh. Awesome. Uh, Grandma D? I don't think we heard you. Try it again. Hey, the hey, the goon. Oh, it says internet connection and stay. Uh oh. <laughs> it's oh, no. that or, and uh, the emphasis doesn't look right when you would say hey, the goon. That's a good point. All right, so uh, Dane, we might want to be listening to the tones. Um, Grandma Martha? Hey, da. Hey, da, goo, huh? Oh, Miss Velma? Da. Hey, da, goo, y'all. Which one is it? Hey, da, goo, y'all, y'all, y'all. Hey, da, goo, y'all. Or hey, da, goo, y'all. Or I don't know. How we say it? Which one is it? Hey, the goo ho is how I say it. Maybe it's sectional. Who knows? Hey, the goo, yeah. That's what I, what I, I mean, the way I, I learned it is hey, the goo, yeah. And I say, uh -huh. hey, the goo ho. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think both, both ways, um, because, you know, we do have some uh, dialect differences. So that might be a good example of it. Another. Another speaker is another connector that I noticed too. I say, neg they say nega on those old tapes. And uh, I say, 
I say, hey, go. Isn't it? Oh. I'm not right. It's just said different. Yeah, both ways. I don't know. Oh. That's a good point, Grandma. I thought they go. I thought they go. It's Nick, so. Huh. Next. <clears throat> Hello. Hmm. Oh, oh, Hi. Hi, Dale. I'm I'm eating. I'm eating soup. <laughs> Oh, soup sounds good. It is. Oh, awesome. Okay, let's see. Uh, where were we? Um, Miss Mabel, I think you're up. Uh, I have a question. Well, hey, doll, hey, da goon, y'all. But most of the time, people just say, hey, da goon. And don't y'all hear that just by itself? Yeah. Uh -huh. I, think yeah. I say it always. Yeah. But uh, maybe formally, it's hey, da goon, y'all. But People kind of just say, "Hey, the goon." I have. I know. I know. My mom's. Just, my, I just hear my, "Hey, the." Yeah, <laughs> "Hey, the." And it, my mom used to like to say, "Hey, the goon," and then, but now I I see it formally that it has a y'all on it. That's a good point. Um, so let me uh, let's go through the rest of our um, elders, and then we can. Um, I want to ask um, to see if we want to discuss that a little more. Um, and I got Chris away Chris. with saying hate the goon hall all my life. Not hate the <laughs> goon y'all. Yeah. yeah. Mm hate -hmm. the goon hall. Right. And I got away with it. I'm pretty old now. And I got away with that without a correction. <laughs> so it must be okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think it sounds like both ways are, are fine, or, you know, however you heard it is fine. Um, Miss Brenda? <clears throat> Kiowa is regional. Oh, oh. yeah, we definitely oh. have dialects. Hey, Dugu, or hey, Dugu, ha. I always heard the ha, too. Thank you. <laughs> Who said? <laughs> Brenda. Awesome. And uh, Miss Marion? <clears throat> hey, Dugu, or hey, Dugu, ha. And if you're getting smart at somebody, you say, hey, the, hey, the goon, huh? <laughs> or, you know, <laughs> I've heard it stretched out just to be, you know, God, I'm trying to hurry. <laughs> hey, Melody, oh. Melody, I think I interrupted Aunt D when she was trying to talk, but I'm using earphones tonight. And so I think I'm, I, I'm not hearing everything, but I think Aunt Dee was trying to say something when I was talking, and I apologize, but I don't know what she's trying to say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Grandma Dee, did you want to add yep. to that? Oh, yeah. I don't know if I said anything. <laughs> I, I forgot. <laughs> yep, oh, yeah. <laughs> if everybody was talking, everybody was saying something. So anyway, doesn't take long for me to... <laughs> And then yeah. when you get our age, you interrupt anytime you can. <laughs> oh. oh, anytime well, you want. <laughs> <laughs> well, we you appreciate forget that. if you wait too long. Oh. Um, and thank you. Um, I hope Cricket, Cricket is writing our um, little sayings that some of our mentors are saying. She's writing them in the chat for us. Um, so uh, on this part, um, uh, Dane, did we want to um, kind of talk about the tones and the way that different um, elders have heard heard these phrases? <clears throat> yeah, you're talking about this one in particular. Yeah, yeah, just the like I guess dialect differences is that the reason? Yeah, because I heard it multiple. That's why it's kind of in between both of them. Um, I know on the Kiowa culture 
committee tapes when they're, when they're talking just like at regular speed, it can come off one way or it can come off the other way. And so through all those different culture program tapes and then hearing different people talk, it, it's it's kind of like Soul Hall, where Soul Hall is all the words, but some people will drop the L, some people will drop the H on it. I think it's one of those types of things. Absolutely. Huh. Huh. Well, that's it's good to hear the different ways to pronounce it and that they're all correct. So that's awesome. It goes right. back to when people used to say, well, people from Anadarko, they talk different than the people from Hobart. You know, and it could be right. just a little syllable right. or a little accent, but it's all the same thing. Right, right. I, I've always said it was regional. Yeah. Yes, very regional. So different. Yeah. Yeah, and if you if you think about it, it makes sense because you know for most of the year we lived um, apart, you know, from each other in the different parts of our Kiowa, you know, territory, and we um, were really together. We were in our different bands and our different groups, and then we would come together, you know, for the Sundance ceremonial and all that. Um, so it makes sense to me why there are these different, you know, what we're calling regional differences. All right, awesome. Um, let's go, we have three more. So we'll go ahead and finish these. So the next one is, oh, and let me say um, hello to uh, David and to Sarah. So um, welcome. They own day, uh, let's see, they own day lots on. We're glad both of y'all could join us. Hello, David. Hello. Two awesome. times. <laughs> All right. So let's uh, listen to this uh, next one. Tamoba. So this is a word that you would use when you want someone to slow down. Um, it also has a connotation of meaning uh, be careful, like slow down or like be careful. Yes. Um, <clears throat> I know that my um, that's something my grandma Ruth would say when we were little um, and she would use that when we were like getting too rowdy I guess or you know like didn't want us to hurt ourselves <clears throat> okay so let's go down our list um, I told this my brother Mac always tap us on the thing uh, on the shoulder we look like we're gonna argue or something or anything and that's a that was his chastising. The gentleman chastised us like that. He just said, Tamoba. Oh, that's good. Never that's good to hear. Never fussed at us. <laughs> so oh, that's easy. So it's an old cautionary phrase. Oh. I like that uh, Miss Marion added to that, you know, another way to say it or to think of it is uh, go easy, go easy. So that's awesome. Uh, okay, so Grandma Dorothy, would you like to say that uh, for us and we'll just go down our list. Or if you were chastising a friend or somebody, if they were getting out of hand, you'd say, Damo, bud, slow down. <laughs> you know, it can oh. be used like that too. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. oh, um, let's see, Grandma D. Damo Ba. Oh, and um, Grandma Martha. Damo Ba. Oh, spell me. Damo Ba. Oh, Mabel. <laughs> oh, we can't hear you, Miss Mabel. Oh, Dumbaba. <laughs> Can you hear me now? Ha. Ah. <laughs> I think there it's probably a, a delay on my end. Marion, oh. you can tell Stephen that when he's driving too fast or something. Dumbaba. <laughs> 
<laughs> slow down, you know, you're speeding or something. <laughs> Not that I've ever, ever seen him speed. Oh, no, it's good. It's good to have. Um, Miss Brenda? <clears throat> If you're able to. Oh, I think you're still, she might not be able to talk. Um, let's go to Miss Marion. <clears throat> and then I've heard him say, it's like, don't overdo it. Yeah. Like if somebody's uh -huh. doing something putting to <laughs> what oh, what was that in the beginning kind of, i said uh more double more double is what i said but i said it means like yeah you know don't overdo oh <clears throat> oh that's a, that's really go good easy go easy on what you're doing Oh, that's awesome. Um, awesome. All right, let's see. I think we got everyone. Um, so those are some really good uh, translations and, you know, kind of gives you an idea of when you can use that. Um, so let's do these next two together. Um, and so this is a short, short one. Hi. Hi. And that's when you're um, asking what? Like, huh? <laughs> What'd you say? And then the last one here is. Hot solho. Hot solho. And that's what you want to, um, you can ask if you want to know if what you're saying is correct or what you're um, hearing is correct. And you want to check whether or not something is accurate. All right, so let's have our mentor, our elders, um, say both of these. So, uh, Grandma Dorothy, we'll start with you. Oh, where are we at? I just kind of uh, oh. hot ho, hot to ho, and sometimes that's hot to ho. You see it written, but. I've always heard it with the L being, but hot Oh, and can you say um, this one? The one about that? Hi. <coughs> All right. Uh, Grandma D, we'll have you uh, say both of those for us. Hi. Hello. Oh. And Grandma Martha. Hi. Hotsoho. Uh -huh. Miss Mama. Hotsoho. Oh. Miss Mabel. Hi. Hotsoho. Uh -huh. uh, Miss Brenda. Oh, what are you doing? Hotsoho. If you're able to. Um, she's chilling in my game room with Noah. Um, okay, I think she's still muted. Okay, um, Miss Marion. Hi. Okay. Oh. And hi sounds like a Japanese word too. Hi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I always thought that. <laughs> yeah, it does. It I... sounds like... <laughs> sounds like like um my little brothers used to go hi yeah. <laughs> All yeah. right. That's a good one. Hi. What? <laughs> um, I'm gonna stop sharing this. Um, so, I know that um my dad whenever he's um. Whenever, like, I'm if I'm saying something and I'm like across the room or I'm in another room and he doesn't hear me, or if I'm across the room, he'll kind of go like this. He'll say, Hi. And he's like, What? Say it again. What'd you say? Um, 
So my dad uses that sign with that word. I've got a short video I that, that if I can share my screen real quick. Oh, yeah. Yeah, go ahead. It's from, um, let's see, the film that they call, let's see, that's not it. It's songs. Um, let's do this one. Okay, see that. Sean, I'm going to steal your remote. Oh. Yeah, we can. Sorry. Here. 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 Okay, it's a clip from More Than Bows and Arrows. I can't remember how long ago this was made. I think it was about in the 70s. Um, let's see. Let's see. It yeah, looks like a uh, Remington. Remington. Much. Remington. Um, I don't have everything on it. This is a little bit, a little bit of a, a uh, little bit of information on it. The original version of Mother and Bows and Arrows that was produced by Cinema Associates in Seattle, Washington. Producer, director Roy Williams, and written by Ron Forsell. But the, uh, but the, the one who's, um, the one who's uh, actually actually doing the voiceover is uh, in Scott Mamaday and. And then there's a section here with uh, Kai was on it. It's real short. He does sign and he does use a version of the help phrase, but he says a little bit more in between. It's real short. I wish there wasn't the voiceover over it. Uh, so if there's a way we can we can find any of the extra film for this, it would probably be useful. But since you were talking about the sign, I wanted to share this one. I'll play it over about four times. A means of communication had to be developed even for intertribal trade. The solution was sign language, developed by the Plains Indians. Many a trade deal was completed by use of signs. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. And the plate over about America's four times. America's first business deal was completed by use of signs. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. A means of communication had to be developed even for intertribal trade. The solution was sign language, developed by the Plains Indians. Many a trade deal was completed by use of signs. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, oh, the God. same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. Wow, that's amazing. One day, one oh, day. I love that. That just um, reminds me. So even when I was 18, and I was 18, I don't know, 2000, 1999, um, you could walk into the um, Elder Center in Carnegie, and there would be, you know, groups of men and groups of women, but they'd be talking in Kiowa and they would, they would be using signs and they'd be like laughing and joking and you could see their hands moving. Um, and it's just amazing. I want to tell a little story. Um, so I'm part of this uh, fellowship program and we were having a, a networking session with a lot of different other tribes. And um, there was a lady, um, who joined our session and she's um, revitalizing the Shoshone language. Um, and uh, they're up in um, Wyoming area. And we were kind of talking and getting to know each other. And she was like, oh, you're Kiowa. And she said, I always, my, my, my grandparents and my elders always told me, if you see a Kiowa person, you thank them, you say, thank you. And I, I was like, oh yeah, what is that? She said, well, she said, because the Kiowas are the ones that I guess when the Shoshones came from the mountains into the plains area, um, the Kiowas are the ones that they first interacted with. And the Kiowas 
taught them the Plains Indian Sign Language to help um, the Shoshones be able to communicate with all the other tribes in that area. And they always credit, I guess they have this history from, you know, however many long time ago that's passed down in, in the Shoshone tribe to uh, give credit to the Kiowa people for teaching them the Plains Indian Sign Language and giving them the means to communicate. And to me, I never like really heard that. Like, I know that Kiowa, you know, we, well, along with spoken Kiowa, we also have signs that we were supposed to say with each of our um, spoken word. We also have signs that we're supposed to use. And um, I just, I just haven't like learned a whole bunch of signs, but it was just really awesome to hear that out there up north, the Shoshones um, give credit to Kiowa people for teaching them the Plains Indian Sign Language, and it's actually helping them to revitalize their own um, Shoshone language um, because they have Shoshone words that they use with the sign language, just like we speak Kiowa with our sign language. It's the same signs. So anyway, I was like so impressed with that. And it just, to me, it just like validates all kinds of things about all the stories that I've heard growing up and stuff. But I wanted to share that with all of you because I think Kiowa should know that there are tribes out there that are very grateful to the Kiowas for teaching the plain sign and then sign language to all of the tribes and helping everyone communicate with each other. Hande. Hande. Uh, a quirk it has on there. She wants to know what they're, they were saying in Kiowa. Lynn Porty was the one that was talking. He, said a long time, and I mean, it took a long time to say whatever he was saying. I mean, the word, mm -hmm. I think it was one word, but anyway, let's listen, see what I'm talking about. Uh, Dane, mm -hmm. do you do you know what they were saying? Have you listened to that long enough to hear the Kiowa part? Um, I could, like that long time ago, I can hear it, although the voiceover was making it hard, you can kind of see in the sun, you can kind of hear some of the stuff. I'm pretty sure he said, ooh, Tongo in there, because kind of held it out um, pretty long. So I think that's why he's doing, and he was signing for that. He was signing a long, long time ago at the same time he's saying, so he's signing word for word. Everything was word for word. So you can kind of follow some of the stuff just by watching the sign, being familiar with the sign. Hey, Dave, um, let me um let me spotlight you so everyone can see um see the sign. Hyundai. And hey, Hyundai. When y'all are finished, I want to show you something. You okay. probably got one. I don't know if it'll show on here, and then it left. But Andrew and Daniel and them came out with that book. Oh, oh really? Right here. I'm holding it if you can look. I oh, got that's it in the awesome. mail yesterday. We can't oh, see wow. it. Your yeah, picture's I, up, Grandma Dorothy. I think your camera is off. We'll have to, um, I can message Nanette and see. If they I got it uh, off of the tapes, we, the CDs we've been listening to all year. Um, oh, really? Of the elders, it's got select stories on it. Wow. Yeah, that's awesome. and it's really easy to follow. I like it. And it's that's by cool. Daniel and uh, Laurel and... Uh, Andrew, we should uh we should see if uh Andrew or someone would come on and and talk to us about it. International Journal of American Linguistics, Volume wow. eighty eight. Yeah. Awesome. It was there. Yeah, I got it yesterday. Oh, uh, and I want to hear what Lynn Porter, huh? Lynn Porter is huh. saying. Oh, can y'all see the about, Can y'all see the video at all? This guy got uh, yeah. mail. Uh, we're yeah, talking we about see. two different things. <laughs> um, oh, Grandma, I'll have to ask uh, Nanette to turn your video on so we can see that um, later on. Um, but Dane, I can see your screen. I was going to give you all the name mm -hmm. of it so you could look it up. I, uh, it's about the boys <laughs> running away from mm -hmm. Riverside and. Uh, how we had Christmas. We've listened to those same things. We could have done that. Oh wow. That's well, I I'm guess on. I guess we should all write a big old paper or make a book about all the sessions <laughs> we've been having. 
we listened to them for a year, we could have had something done. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Um, oh, thank you, Cricket. Uh, Grandma uh, Cricket um, wrote down in the chat so we can look it up. Okay, uh, I got some second right down. Did you get the title to that at all? Um, yeah, Cricket put it in the chat. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, good. I can just write it down now. Okay. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. What did he say? Turn and put me on mute. Only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs ordeal was completed by use of seal was completed by use of signs. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. Uh, hot potato. Who was it? That was that other who was in there. It's John Chano. Okay. Oh, awesome. And that's who's listening. That's the one that's listening to him, right? Yeah. Okay. How do you spell um, Lynn Poitie's uh, last name? Lynn said, yeah. Lynn Poitie. Honda. Can you write that down, Dane? Yeah, it's written down there. If you look up a little bit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I see it. Yeah. And then what after that? Uh, that's the part I can't I can't hear because the voiceover is speaking over it. So you can you can you can get get Aga in there because he speaks. Uh, you can hear that over the voiceover, but you can't hear some of the stuff in between. You can just see some of the signs, but just it's really hard to hard to hear exactly what because the signs could be could mean several things. But when he says "oi" and then he pulls back, you can tell he's talking about time. You can tell he's talking about back then. I just don't know what he's saying after it. Can we hear it again? Maybe we mm -hmm. can, maybe they can figure it out. Many a trade deal was completed by use of signs. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. The Kiowas were among the most expert in using the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. He said, yeah, hi, good dog, at that one point, and he does sign for it, too. He did yeah. get Tiger in there. He did get Tiger in there. I have a totally mute daughter. It's been a long time. The first part is... And then yes, he Marian. just goes to the ooh like into the past. And then for the end then he says something about dog e or something. You can't sign. hear it. He's, I you, think he said dog sign. Oh yeah, oh dog sign. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think he signs uh with like talk. Yeah. Yeah. Marion, oh, see, you see, 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 work with him. him. Marion worked with him mm -hmm. about that. Yeah. Era. Yes. 
did did you hear what he said after Uli Tonga? And then he it said something. It shall have to be developed before. even. Miss Marion. He said something about prayers. Or something. Mm -hmm. For intertribal trade. Mm -hmm. The if solution didn't have that was sign language. Voiceover. There was some way to get rid of me. <laughs> yeah. Language <laughs> developed by the Plains Indians. Many a trade deal was completed by use of signs. I'm going to take it apart sign by sign just so we can kind of follow what's what that and that that might help. Okay. On so that first one, that's the one everybody does for question. That's that's okay. he's using it for something which is Honde, like Honde and Delta. I mean, it's the same phrase. You just put Ehonde Ki Dot Get in the middle. Uh, he just and that means just uh, on this on this day today on this day. Uh, but when he says Honde Ehonde Ki, he's doing that sign for question. And then he said that short sign, which is right now. Then he's going to sign for day right after this. That was the sign for day. Um, and I think then he, he signs for Tero, uh, to tell in Tero to. And then right after this, he's going to the yeah. sign for future, but he's not doing the full way. He's doing it kind of shorthanded because you can do that and sign do a shorthand. He just pulls that one finger forward just slightly, which means like in the future. That's where the thaw part, thaw, because the thaw is future or will. And that's why he does right when I unpause it. He's going to do that one real short, real small. And that was fast. He did it really fast. And then I think he says, yeah, hi, get dog at some point in here, but I can't remember if he says something else. Ooh, talk, or ooh, whichever was in the past. There was, we're among the most expert in using the sign language. So you can hear hi, get when he does, when he signs for knowing. Today only, and then that one long and back in the past. A few elders of my tribe still, and it says all. So he's signing for all. I just can't hear what he's saying for it. Remember it. Though the signs are different. He said, "Don't I don't get." Is that what y'all hear? Don't I yes. don't get. Oh. Mm -hmm. Different. The same principle is used today as a visual language for those. If he gets uh, again, he just signed for good. Then he's pointing at himself. So th this is why I can't really hear what he's saying. So anybody else picks it up. Who can't speak or hear? Almost the like Kiowas you were, were among I... the most expert in using okay. the sign language. Today, only a few elders of my tribe still remember it. Though the signs are different, the same principle is used today as a visual language for those who can't speak or hear. What's he saying when he's pointing at himself? I can't hear. always tell me something about something about heart or something they're feeling, but I don't know if anybody else can catch what he's doing at the end. I think he points at himself once, but then he's signing for something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. okay. Mom said. I think when he points to himself as he's saying, I'm going to, I am going to tell you something. Don't say, don't uh, when he start at the beginning. You'll see him. When we don't barely hear him, he says, thoughts I fatal though. And that's when it gets lost because probably talking about that's through the prayers we are here. Good to see those two guys, John and Lynn. <clears throat> Dave, can you um, do the signs for those, uh, the first part up until we can't hear? Can you um, show us the signs again? Okay, so when he says Honde, and he does it real fast that for the Enho, and it's kind of hard because I got it on blurred. So, and he does the sign for day. So, and he does a sign for Dakya. He just signs for the Enhade key part. And then he goes, aim data thought. So in sign, you mostly skip the pronoun on everything. So 
fatal thaw. And then instead of doing this as future, he just does and just does that real short for for the last part. Then he says, Yah hai, I think it's Yah hai geda, or Yah hai geda. That's really what I could hear in there. And then he goes, Oi, and then he says something afterwards, but he does the sign for a long time back. And then when he says, Dao tsai dong, yeah, we can't see what he's actually signing in there because it changes the view. Then he says, Get ah, yeah, and he just does that sign. We've never seen that sign before. And then he's talking about something about himself, but I can't make out what he's saying. And then he changes the sign to this. And the only thing I can know that goes like that has to do with the heart. And, and that's kind of a similar sign, but I don't know if that's what he's signing there. Like if we could hear what he's saying, then we'll probably be able to figure it out a little bit better. But I know that some of them, when, they, when they're about to say, one day, one day, you can see your heart good. And I've seen that from, other tribes, but I don't know if that's what he's about to sign out. I can't, can't guess because I can't I can't hear what he's saying. Oh, oh, awesome. That's really exciting to see that. Um, so I guess um I guess a question for all of you is um do you feel in I guess this is for our um uh, elders Handeva, Thai, um, do you feel that it would be appropriate to incorporate the use of sign language when, like, if we're teaching, working with our children or working in a classroom setting with students? <clears throat> well, let me say that at this point that I think one thing at a time. I think the language mm -hmm. first. And then whenever, you know, they're proficient in that, someone then might take on sign language because that, that is, to me, more difficult. So I'm sure children could learn both at the same time because they can learn anything. But I think the adults that would be working with them may have a more difficult time. Oh, oh that's... Obaha. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> that's right. You know what? I'm quite out too much. I'm burning the candle at both ends. <laughs> oh. It's really interesting to see um to see how we use sign language like in real life. It's it's neat. Mm. Just as a, a interesting point, um, a lot of times sign language is used to teach infants a way to communicate with their parents. And I've I studied uh, American Sign Language whenever I was in college, and that's where they used it to some degree, uh, and. I watched my niece use it with her little son who had a hard time speaking when she first uh, adopted him. So they use sign language to communicate if he was hungry or if he was thirsty or if he wanted more to eat or those simple things that were learned in his childhood have carried over so that he could he later learn to talk good. But it was an interesting thing to see. In, in or in early childhood development. Oh, that is a really important point. Um, I know that uh, it it would be so. I know that in a lot of like childcare um, settings, um, teachers that work with infants they do use American Sign Language um, with the babies, especially like you know if the infant you know they're nonverbal before they actually know how to speak in whatever language. By using uh, sign language, they can tell people without, you know, it, it's they're less likely to have like outbursts or cry and things like that. Um, so it's really interesting. And I, you know, I think of my my little, um, my youngest daughter, she was an infant at the Kiowa Child Care Center when we were doing um, our uh, language immersion sessions. And it was funny because our teachers, 
they learned American Sign Language to use with the infants, and they were learning to speak Kiowa at the same time. And so I think it's funny, you know, I wonder like what, um, what our kids would have learned if our teachers could have also learned Kiowa Sign Language to go along with their Kiowa words to teach the kids because they were already talking to them in Kiowa. And so it's kind of something like I think back on and I'm like, you know, it'd be nice um, if I was able to train teachers who are working with infants again, I would want to kind of do what we're doing now and like um, make sure that the teachers understand, you know, how to pronounce and how to speak or spoken Kiowa. But if they're working with infants, then I would also want them to learn how to sign in Kiowa as well, especially with basic, um, basic commands you know, some of the help phrases, that type of thing that they can use with infants and, you know, young children under age one year old um, so that they can help them. And who knows, maybe those kids will start using signs um, back to them in Kiowa. And theoretically, um, you could teach a Ki um, if you're using Kiowa sign language or Plains Indian sign language with the infant, when that infant um, is able, you know, they might be able to communicate with you and initiate communication um, in Plains Indian Sign Language or in Kiowa Sign Language before they're ever able to like actually pronounce or say a Kiowa word spoken. And I think um, that's definitely something that for anyone who wants to work with um, babies, um, that might be something to really think about and kind of uh, focus on um, something to explore because I don't think that's been done in the past 30 years, you know? So it'd be interesting um, to see a Kiowa teacher who's teaching babies Kiowa to learn Kiowa sign language at the same time and then use Kiowa sign language with the babies and see if the babies are able to communicate back in Kiowa using plain Indian sign language. So anyway, I think that's really interesting because we know that it works with um, American sign language. So. I wonder if it will work the same way with uh, our sign language. Oh, that's awesome. That's a good uh, Kiowa pedagogy discussion. Ha! Oh. <laughs> day on day. <laughs> see, see how we did that? See how that kind of worked out? Ha! <laughs> oh. <laughs> things possible. Well, that, that's good to teach them while they're young. Yeah. I know, like, that's why I keep thinking. I'm like, man, I wish I could have. I wish I learned more about Kiowa Sign Language when my kids were little. Because I just think, like, it'd be so much easier for them to communicate. Um, oh. and, well, and uh, also, yeah. TPR, um, total physical response helps you. So, like, when you use your body to um, learn something and not just hearing and, and repeating, but when you use your body to help you learn something, it, it, uh, you, it helps you retain it faster. Oh, yeah, that's a, a really important, like, I guess that's a neurological thing to keep in mind um, with your uh, learners and whatever age group you're working with. Um, Miss Brenda, when I went to substitute for your Kiowa language class at the high school um, last uh, fall, um, some of the first things I worked with them on was um, learning how to say ha and get I get. <laughs> and so I could walk into the classroom and I would go like this, I would just go like that to them. And all the kids, they would say ha. <laughs> so it was like a way to get them excited about talking Kiowa and they got to the point where they, I could just you know make the sign and then they would repeat it they would know how to sign but also to say it in Kiowa so it was kind of fun get the, get. so so now I need to learn more um Kiowa sign language so that I can use it with with uh with my kids and with our students All right, awesome. Um, well, who's ready to start some practicing in some breakout rooms? All right, um, so let's see here. I think uh, we wanted to have um, 
uh, four breakout rooms, um, one to practice um, help phrases, one on sounds and pronunciation. And then the main room, we're going to look at uh, Dom Beide, the prayer. Um, and, and then Cricket um, wants to do a practice on nouns, pronouns, and verbs. And I know some of you um, were practicing that last week as well. Uh, let's see. Dane, are you able to set up breakout rooms? Yeah, there it is right there. Uh -huh. All right, so you'll see um, the help phrases, the sounds and pronunciation, the nouns, pronouns, verbs, and evaluation if you are working on the credentialing and you need to do one of your credentialing parts. Uh, Melody, I wanted to say something. I, I missed last week because I was ill. And uh, I want to thank you for the work you've done for having an agenda. And it, it feels like our classes, you know, they have a structure now. And so, you know, I, I appreciate that. And I also have a question. I know that our grant ends at the end of October. And I noticed that the schedule is still every Wednesday. So it will continue on after October. That's a good question. So yes, so these sessions are actually funded through a fellowship that I got um, through the First Nations Development um, Foundation and the uh, Loose Indigenous Knowledge Fellowship. And um, so they're not affiliated with the KLCRP or the Kiowa tribe, um, but you know, we wanted to really provide an opportunity for people to continue doing the things that we've been doing and, and really kind of keep our momentum um, until the Kiowa tribe, you know, until the language program kind of settles on what they're going to do. And I think the last I heard, um, Lily had said that they were waiting on, um, I guess the, K, the K, KIC have to vote on the budget. And I guess the light Kiowa language program is in the budget, um, but I don't know when a vote is going to happen. So. I think that's kind of because um, the federal funding ended from the uh, from the administration for Native Americans, so the grant ended, and so um, you know we have to kind of wait and see what the Kiowa tribe wants to do um, with with the you know to kind of continue the program. Um, so I wanted to hold these sessions just to make sure that people who are still interested that we continue to kind of have a chance to learn and and discuss together, um, and so that way you know we can just continue what we were doing. Um, okay, can new people join on? Yes, all, definitely. Um, and it's actually open to, I sent it out to probably around 250 Kiowas um, who have kind of over the years like wanted to be interested in a Kiowa class. Um, so feel free to forward the email to anyone that you know you feel would, would enjoy it. Um, and the schedule is there. Um, and so we're gonna stick to that schedule for this semester. And then in January, we'll kind of decide if you know people feel like we should we should start over or if we should kind of continue on with additional topics um, and then maybe start over every August. Um, is there so, any paperwork or application they need to do or just attend? Honey, just, just attend. show up, <laughs> just click okay. on Zoom. <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, oh, definitely. And also, uh, Ms. Mabel, and to anyone who just joined, um, I'm working on getting my website up and going. It's called learnkiowa.org. Um, it's not up yet, but it will be, and all of these sessions will be posted um, on my YouTube channel and posted on the learnkiowa.org website, um, as well as um, lesson plans and resources, um, things that are in videos and, and um, audio files that are aligned with the different topics that we're discussing. And eventually what I want to have is um, have each age group of, um, of Kiowa people um, so that a Kiowa parent, a family member or a teacher can click on an age group and get immediate access to um, the lesson plans, the materials, uh, songs, videos that are appropriate for that age group. And so that's the goal. And hopefully by the end of next year, um, the website will be fully developed. Um, and hopefully many of you will be able to kind of share in, you know, hearing and giving updates and giving feedback. But that's the goal and that's the idea. 
Um, so be on the lookout for that. I'll send an email out uh, once that's up and running. All right. Um, so um, if everyone wants to pick um, your breakout room that you want to go to, uh, feel free. Let me know if you want me to move you into a breakout room. Nobody's doing anything. Uh, let's see. So the breakout rooms are open. Um, so I don't know if anyone has an evaluation that you want to work on. Um, if you want to practice help phrases, um, that's um one of the breakout rooms, there's sounds and pronunciation, and then there's nouns, pronouns, and verbs. So let me know if you want me to uh, move you somewhere. Um, or if you can access the breakout room button, then you can jump in any room that you want to. <clears throat> All right, Let's see people moving around. And in here, in this room, we're going to continue looking at our um, uh, the, the Kiowa prayer that we were looking at last week. <clears throat> and and um, let's see, Lori, I think you just have to um, click on a button on your um, Zoom to hop over to a room. It might take a minute. All right, awesome. <clears throat> okay, does anyone, I see a bunch of people going into the nouns, pronouns, and verbs practice. We have someone in help phrases. Um, does anyone else want me to move you to a breakout? Okay, um, so while we are, um, I guess feel free to uh, choose a breakout if you want, but um, for those of us here in this room, I'm gonna pull up our the prayer, Don uh, Beide, and uh, let me uh, find it again and share my screen so we can see it. <clears throat> Okay. And um, I don't know if everyone here has access to our Google Drive folder. I have a folder that's kind of like, it's on my personal Google Drive. And probably for the past decade, I've been adding Kiowa resources, like Dane's been adding resources. And it's just like this giant uh, folder with a bunch of Kiowa resources. And um, let me know if you want access to that. I probably have like 100 or so people that are on it. Um, I just ask that if you do access it, uh, try not to delete anything, um, but you can certainly download whatever you want and use it, you know, for whatever. Um, um, so let me know. I'd like to have access. Um, okay. Okay. Um, oh, I'm requesting access. Oh, I will add you, Ms. Marion. I'll make sure. Um, so I, I'll just add you and then you'll get a little email that says that you were added to a folder. Melody. Uh, no, Hyundai. Melody. Me, yeah. I would like it too. I would like access to. Okay, awesome. Um, I will add uh, Miss Velma and Miss Marion. All hey, right. Kid. Me too. Oh, and Kathy, you I, you don't have access yet. I would have thought. Do you. I? I don't know. Um, I would imagine that you would have. All right, well, okay. If it was yours that I was getting all that information out of, then I got it. All the credentialing stuff. Oh, I think that was yours. Uh, that's, no, that's that was Dane's folder. Dane, right. Um, so yeah, let me, um, I will add you. Whoops, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry about that. Here's our prayer. Okay. Can everyone see Don Bayide? Oh. All right, so this is the prayer. 
um, written by uh, Parker McKenzie, and he uh, did not leave a translation. It's just written in Kiowa. It was written in his um, original, his orthography, and then uh, Dane uh, transcribed it into the modified McKenzie um, orthography. And so what we started last week is we started to translate it. And our goal, it's kind of long, I'm going to scroll down, it's a couple pages, but our goal is to be able to pronounce each of these phrases and to understand what it's saying. And um, it's, a, it's a prayer that uh, reflects uh, historical or traditional Kiowa ways of praying. <clears throat> okay. So we uh, did this first line last week, and I'm going to try it, and uh, let's see, all of our um, elders that are here, um, let me know, correct me, um, so I'm going to try to say this. Dom oyom doki panma ink adi. Perfect. Oh. I talk too much. <laughs> we don't mind. It was good. You said it perfect. Oh. Um, and that translates to Domoyam Daki is our historical or traditional way of saying uh, God or the creator. <clears throat> and uh, one translation is uh, the man who made everything. And then, um, so then we're on the second line here. So that's what we wanted to work on today. And let's see, um, is Grandma Martha, are you still with us? Yes. <laughs> Since you know how to read this orthography, would you be able to start us off by pronouncing this and then we'll have the rest of our elders um, say it as well so we can hear it? Okay, hold on, let me read this too. I've, okay. ne I've, never, I've never even read the whole thing yet, so. <laughs> oh, I, I know, it's, it's gonna be an adventure. <laughs> okay. Um, it's gonna take a while. What's his so, name? Uh, the other class done it. Uh, Richard uh, had a copy of that. Oh, really? Uh huh. Make man. Awesome. Okay, I'm gonna give it a try. We'll see. It's kind of a little different at the end, but um, <clears throat> that's what I kind of got out of it. Oh, Tokyo dog. Tokyo dog. Okay, today, uh, this day, on this day, we're gathered. We're gathered. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. On this day, we're gathered. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. A doke dog. Okay, let's see. Dog. Oh. Um, Miss Velma, would you be able to uh, pronounce that again? And I'll I'll go down the line of our elders. Oh, um, come on, Dorothy. dog. Oh. Um, let's see, uh, Miss Marion. A hard day. A hard day. A dog, yeah, dog, go. Oh, um, let's see. Uh, a melody, can I uh, interrupt in here for a minute now? Yeah, yeah. Um, on that first part, um, yeah. And the key dot pa is just on this day or today. Yeah. And then you would normally just say a do get We are gathered. 
But that second word, I mean, that next word in there, gall, that's your connector. So yeah. that makes it kind of sound off, but it's a connector of and. Somehow it ended on the word and. and. Oh, do you think it's supposed to continue to this, this line? Yeah. Uh huh. Gall, and then you're going to just keep talking about what you're saying, you know? Oh, okay. So do you think it would be more helpful to say this whole whole phrase together? Um, let's see. I would say just if that maybe that gall can move back down to that next line there. Oh, okay. That and it would make more sense because it throws yeah. you off when you're reading it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Through me, I'm like, oh, I was just saying that. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Awesome. Yeah, that sounds better. <laughs> So now it makes a little more sense. It's a connection. Uh, oh, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't see Miss Mabel. Uh, Miss Brenda, do you want to? Are you able to? It's pretty noisy in here right now. I'll, okay. I'll pass right now. Okay, thank you. Um, okay, so is this translation? So, Ehande Deki Dapa. That's on this day. Yeah, we are gathered. Hey, Tokido. Hey, it's we and then Tokido are scattered. Okay, cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Okay, so we don't need to make any changes to the translation. That's, yeah, that's good the way it is. Yeah. Awesome. All right. Well, we'll go. Um, well, actually, here, let's see. Uh, this is nasalized. So there should be like a, um, oh my gosh, let me see if I can uh, find it really quick. Um, the N A. This. So this should be um. So it's nasalized. Um. Hopefully that's that's clear <laughs> to people. Okay. Um. Do any of our um? Does anyone want to try saying it? Uh, learners, you want to try pronouncing it? I'll start. <clears throat> Anyone who's brave enough to try repeating it? Um, okay, uh, cool. Hey, Hande, Ki, Dot, Ba, Hey, Do, Kya, Da. Good. Good. Let's see. I saw, uh, oh, she left. <laughs> uh, Kathy, <laughs> do you want to try it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> A hard, a hard day, a hard day key. A hard day. Hard day, what? A hard day. A hard day. Key. Dot bay. Dot ba. A hard day key dot ba. Dot ba. Dot ba. A. Dog ya dog. Dog. No. Dog. 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 And remember, this is nasalized right here. So, ain't hard, a key. Ain't hard, a ain't hard. Ain't hard. Yeah, nasalized. Ain't hard, a key. Dot. Ba. A dog. Yeah. Dog. Yeah. Um. Oh, there's Courtney again. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I'm sorry. It was. I guess all of our connections are messing up tonight. That's okay. It's an internet thing. Um, do you want to? Do you want to try to uh, pronounce this one? Ha. Ain't hard a ain't hard a key dot ba. Sorry. Ain't hard a key dot ba. A do ya da. Okay. 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 Ain't hard a. Do. Okay, ain't hard a key that ba a to yeah da. Perfect. Awesome. Does anyone else want to give it a shot? Does anyone else want to try? Mary, it's still there. Ain't hard a key. Ain't hard a key that ba a to yeah da. To me, it sounds like. We're gathered here today. Ain't on that key. 
Hey, dog, cow, dog, or we're gathered here in this, I hope in this uh, house, on. in this building. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, dog. We're gathered here today in this uh, house, church house. He's talking about, yes, the house. Oh yeah, that isn't that what dog yeah is? No, it's a house. Oh, dog yeah. We're gathered. Like in a church. Yeah, like a church. And a key like dog yeah. We're gathered here today in this in the church in the building. Yeah, everybody in the said people, it. In the building. Oh. And the awesome. uh, hey, oh, yeah, dog. <laughs> like we're here. Oh, awesome. Thank you, Ms. Marion. Um, okay, let's see if we can try Sorry, this line. Let me, let me kiss you. <laughs> hey, oh. you. Grandma Dorothy has oh, her visitor. Mm. Her little visitor. So, I hope they get on. Mm -hmm. oh. I hope uh -huh. they get on. Thanks. They get you, and, we're, and we're giving you thanks. And we're, we're giving you thanks. Okay. And we're giving you thanks. Yeah, that's what Dorothy's saying. We're giving you thanks. But I this, hope they so, get on. This prayer is now on it. Dorothy said, we're giving you thanks. Mm -hmm. It's in a lot of songs. Oh, awesome. Uh, Grandma Martha, can you um, say that for us also? Yes. Uh, I hope they get all more. That's the next one. I sang it. It's in a song. I hope they get all more. They get on, you know. <laughs> oh, that's pretty. Um, let's see. Uh, Miss Velma, mm -hmm. would you like to say it? I hope they get on. I hope. And uh, Miss Marion, would you like to say this this line? I hope they get on. I hope they get on. Oh, I hope. All right, um, go aho de get um. Um, Kathy, do you want to try again? I'm gonna try this next one. Go aho de get um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, and uh, Courtney, you want to try it? Go a hole get Does anyone else want to try it? Love it. That's pretty. Okay, let's see if we can do this one. Uh let's see. Don't uh got a dog day. Um Grandma Martha, you wanna try? Don't I uh, got a daughter? One more time. Don't I yeah. uh, got a daughter? Oh, um, Grandma Dorothy. We are giving you thanks. I hope they get on. Don't a. What is that? Don't I uh, got? Don't I uh, got? That's pop tea. Uh, put uh, the, put the translation on there. At the bottom. Okay. What, um, how would you translate this? Literally, it's saying the land. The Can you put the translation at the bottom like the others? Like the land is good? <laughs> the earth is good? Either way. Dome is sure, you know, the land. Dome is the land. Put the oh, translation. Oh, God, it's good. Oh, God, it's good and a dog day it is. A dog day something. It is good. It, is, it means it is. 
state of being it is. Oh. It seemed like no want to be separate. And Doug would be separate. The easy yeah. way to be, probably, yeah. Like that. Okay. Don't I go a daughter. Don't I go a daughter. Yeah. It don't make too much don't, sense. Uh, don't be separate. Don't I get dumb, uh, it's talk over you. Yeah. Here. Remember that book called The Good, Good Earth? A Pearl Buck? <laughs> Good Earth? <laughs> Sound like it's backwards. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good land it is mm -hmm. a good no. land it is no. I never did hear, hear a sentence that way oh my god no don't make it yeah oh. yeah no. don't don't I got I really did what, struggle through that because it's what kinda, is this what is this referring to? Oh, it's a good land. Oh, the the whole thing good. That just means the, the earth is good or the land is good. It's basically oh, okay. Don't I'm adjective describing that now. Oh, what okay. I'm, what I'm that saying now? is that all of our church songs and our sentences, where did you see this in connection? I don't know, but if you were singing it, would you say, Dom, oh, God, a dog, day, something like that? I know it. <laughs> well, you know, in, <laughs> that's what, in, I in, in, what I'm trying to get across is this doesn't sound Kiowa. It doesn't sound Kiowa. Well, um, when you say it in English, we're used to saying it is good. The land is good. Okay. And Kiowa thinking, you have to, you know, word it the way a Kiowa would think, I would say. I just, think this this phonetic thing is the dome should be separate from uh oh. I think so it kind of runs together don't gotta say if you put it on here yeah she uh dorothy is saying like ah oh, yeah dome get da or something like that maybe that's what she's thinking mm -hmm. oh, yeah, yeah. Get da, or but something. I'm just looking at this way this is written in general and I Parker had it written this way. I guess that's the way he meant it to go in. I, it must be right. Mm -hmm. I know it's right if he wrote it. I yeah, just, just got translated. Just I mean, it. Yeah. Maybe it'll make more sense once we get through the other, you know, the rest of it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. I got a dog. Yeah. A good land it is. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's the best yeah. translation. <laughs> I know it. It didn't sound up to Hoyle or something. Oh, uh. <laughs> it sounds off. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see. It looks like those. Yeah. Uh, they're still practicing in the breakout room. So let's try one more, and then we can uh, call it quits. Okay. Um, so let's see. Uh, okay, uh, I think this is supposed to be nasalized. So let me put a uh, NA there really quick. Okay, uh, wait, what is that? Hey, I think that changed, didn't it? What was it? Hold on, what did I do? Did I mess? I'm pretty sure letters. Oh, I put it in the wrong way. You made place. a new word. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Wait good. a minute. Oh, so, yeah. Okay, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, so let's see. I don't know where to start with this one. What do you think, Grandma Martha? <laughs> okay. Aga saw dom a dog. Aga saw dom a dog. Go. Aga saw. Aga is your own. It's your own, like your own, own go, your own. Todd Dome, Mother Earth. There it is. Oh, wow. That's cool. 
that's interesting. <laughs> Let's see, uh, Grandma Dorothy, did you hear enough to uh, make sense of it? <clears throat> this one. Oh, that's so dumb. Dog. Oh, that's hard. I made the dog. Oh, that's so dumb. I know. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, um, Miss Velma, do you want to try? Um, oh, God. Excuse me. I'm oh, God. Wait, oh, God. So dumb, a dog. Oh, God. So dumb, a dog. It sounds good. It's good, Kiowa, but it just doesn't sound like a Kiowa oh, sentence, God. is what I'm saying. Yeah. It sounds different, huh? Mother Earth, we do call it. Some people call it grandmother, some, you know, <laughs> different tribes, different things, but it just doesn't kind of. Okay, hey, yeah, but um... <laughs> this next one says, I'm a prayer. <laughs> I do not <laughs> want <it. laughs> It's a word, Daddy. Yeah, yeah. Is one that's supposed to. He made his own prayer, maybe. Is yeah, that, I think he maybe. Did. Yeah, he. It, from what it sounds like, it's something that was in his papers, and he basically just like wrote his own, like what his version of a prayer would be, mm -hmm. kind of like we all wrote our own prayers. <clears throat> I thought he was a teacher. We can only. We can only speak what's in our heart. That's, That's what true. He wrote. Yeah. Oh, that's hard. Oh, dang dog. Oh, oh that's hard. Dog. So this word right here, dog, um, is that um, Mother Earth? Is that like Mother? So is that like is a dome? Oh, yeah, it's Mother and dome is Earth. Is that like a historical Kiowa word, like an old Kiowa word, or is that something that's invented? That's it no, sounds to me like things are Kiowa. Yeah, I think he's trying to explain, I guess, it's what he wants to put in there. So great. that's how it came out. How would, else would you say Mother Earth? <laughs> yeah. Well, I thought Mother was gone. The dog oh, of God. Fine. Onga means your own. My, yeah, my. And then saw is mother. Dome is the earth. A dog. It is our or our it's mother our earth. Mother. earth or my it is our mother earth. It's basically speaking yeah. Spanish. That's what he said. Um, you have to remember there's different words. Sound the same, but they're used different ways, and the meaning changes depends on how you, what you're saying. Oh. Study. Good study. Yeah, that makes sense. That's really interesting to hear or to you know to see it and to think about it. It's a good word study. You <laughs> said <laughs> a lot of words in there. Yeah. I'm would you it. say, Melody, I just got on, what, how would you say, what are you saying in that highlighted part? Oh, uh, Grandma Martha, do you want to, um, we, we were just trying to translate uh, Parker McKenzie's prayer. Um, we were talk talking about this one, um, Mother Earth, and I was just wondering if that was a historical, like an old Kiowa word, or if that's a a new term. These are just words, Kiowa words. They're just words. To I me. think he just put he put them together to give us a meaning. I think. Well, you know? to make it to make it to go with the English part is what it looks like to me. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to explain what you did. Yeah. 
，好的，嗯，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好，好Uh, it probably might be referring to the just the different form that mother is in, saw versus a、uh, saw boy, but from、yeah. just the different form of it. Oh, is that is that right, Kat? You say no. I don't. I got a dumb a dog. I don't know. <laughs> We don't. I don't. I don't know that. How you say Mother Earth? If you say it in Kiowa. Yeah. How would you say? Just that. So no mother, and no Miss Earth. Yeah. There's no Miss Earth. The ground.、Mm -hmm. A dog. Oh, it is. But do Kiowa、oh, say that when they pray? Probably not. They can say anything. <laughs> Probably not. Anybody can say anything. I know. I know. Other, other tribes say Mother Earth, but I don't know if Kai was too. That's what、Earth. I was wondering. That's what I was asking. They probably say it without that word "saw." If you were really looking at it, if you took that、yeah. part and said it, it would be like a dome, a dog. I guess you could say it like that. You know. But for some reason, he wanted to put that Mother Earth in there. But Kiowa don't really say that in Kiowa. <laughs> oh, it's a good question.、Okay. It's a good.、Uh, what is it,、uh, Grandma D? We were saying it's a word study. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, it's a word study for. So we're learning the words. So you're learning the words, different ways to use it. <laughs> yeah. I got a theme. Oh, and um, uh, for all of our um mentors on here, um, uh, Rachel has a question.、Uh -huh. Um, when we're speaking about dom as the earth or the world, and you you also have the translation of land. Is that also the same word that you would use for the dirt? Like, can you say the same、okay. word for、dirt、all of it? Dirt is different. Dirt is different. Pine, 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 pine dirt. Pine. Okay. Different word. Yeah. yeah. Dome and pine are two different expressions. Yeah, yeah. pine. Yeah, it's another one. Different way of saying. Sand or dirt, pine, yes, pine, yeah, yeah. Pine. And then you get sand. No,、oh, it's muddy. Oh yeah, sand is、uh, for mud. <laughs> don't don't muddy, don't muddy it up. Oh, what about sand? Oh, awesome. Um. So hopefully that helps with your question. Depends on your context. <laughs> you can, well, you you could say "get dome snap." Though means you're busting up the earth.、Mm -hmm. That was the、uh, when they're plowing. A dome snap. Yeah, yeah. They, they, they accuse the farmers of tearing the land up when they say. Hey, good domains. That's how. That's the context it was used in. All right, and for plow. Yeah, that's really good to know. Um, and then I remember in those Kiowa culture program tapes, they also said uh, domains suck. Yeah, when they were talking about um the allotments when. Uh, they made a lot for each of the families. That's a taco is what they're saying. Yeah, taco is cutting. That a taco. They're cutting it up. Ah, that's right. A taco、mm -hmm. when you when you plow it. That's all I've ever heard it. 
And when you yeah. say don't make salt go mm -hmm. whenever we have an earthquake. Yeah. Uh oh. Don't make zang. <laughs> Yeah. No, <laughs> it'll break apart. Yikes! Dom de zande to na pui pui peito. Oh yeah, the shaking, shaking the earth. And he okay. says in the prophetic words, I sound like a uh, minister, <laughs> but he said, "When I shake the earth, that's when it's gonna come down." Dom de zande to na ya om de to. It's a song in a that's words in a song. Purple words. I oh. I always think over Domate Sato. They took they were violating our where we live. I'm not trying to be a rebel. I mean, but our words were so hard, you know, that they they were protective of it. Oh. And when they started getting fences, they, they had to make up. When they started getting wire fences, they had to make up the name. Home, hi. Home is iron and to tie it. That's to respect your lands. Home, hi. Everything pertained to the respect they had to our, our existence on the land. Oh. And I'm trying. I was sitting back here trying to, kind of. I know you, the mentors. I know y'all all heard that. That ex I'm not changing your way of thinking right now, but it was Bail Hande. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm -hmm. It's a powerful kind of words. It's it's a lot of good words. If something doesn't turn out the way you want to, you say, Bail Honde, I expected something better. <laughs> what is that, Bail oh. Honde? Honde. And the, or you'll say, Beto, and that means they're kind of making fun of you. I've had that thrown at me all my life. What was that? Beto. 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 If they're not too too uh, impressed with what you say, <laughs> but I've really never heard Mother Earth used like that. It uh, comes from the heat and dog. Yeah, yeah, it was interesting to see that. That's why I wanted to know. I was curious if that was like a new thing or if that's like a historical thing. And. Uh, <laughs> There's a guy was saying, you say, don't be kind, but you respect the earth. Respect the land. Don't be kind, but you. Don't be kind. Oh. <coughs> oh, oh. That's there's awesome. A, there's a song that says, Anko Tago be kind, but you. Respect the flag. Oh. <clears throat> um, let me see. Uh, Grandma Dorothy, can you say the um, respect the land phrase again? I'll try to put it in the chat. Don't be kind, but so you. Dane, if you're still here, would you be able to type that with the diacritic marks? Oh. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, cool. All right. Well, we are over time. So we should let um, everyone go to bed um, or uh, finish eating dinner. Um, we'll get that put in the chat. Um, and to close us up, um, let's see, uh, David made outside. Uncle. Made outside. Uncle. Dog E. Domoyum dog E. Parmont ore.
Do I'm young ten so on me. My own day on tome. Mone yon tob yome. On tom I pay on time do no. Do the bon e con on I'm pero e ya con to a on ton do do a ho a ton ye to I'm pero a on ton ye to Doc e do the own name Doc at do Bay on ton doc a yon hag ye do me Yon get on hag ye do Yon son hag ye do The honda yon hag ye do Doc e dot hog ye on me Doc e dot tarode They dot tarode On pero a on tomo Doc e and dot sahito I can't bear Emma Oh. 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 Thank you, David. All right. Awesome. Um, Melody, um, on Sunday, November 6th at uh, the Ponkin Theater um, in Ponca City, they're going to show Daughter of Dawn and talk about it. Um, and I put it in the chat. Oh, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Ponca City. In Ponca City at the uh, Ponkin Theater. Who's doing it? The Historical Society? Paul. Oh. They owned it. They're all Kiowas. There were only two Comanches in that movie. They're That's awesome. So pretty. Wish I could go. Hey, go, Bob. Oh, hey, go. Hey, go, Bob. Oh, Bob. Hey, go, Bob. Oh, I don't try to. I got to go play with my eye hats a little. Oh, have fun. Well, Monday, oh, love you, Aunt Mama. Love you guys. Oh, hey, God, and why, Bonka? Oh, over here.